YouTube and welcome to Leah's Handmade Crafts episode number 28. I nearly said 26 then, that would have been going backwards. Episode 28, um, please excuse my hair, I've looked like a, I've done 10 rounds, but anyway, um, I, today's, um, talk is about whips and a finished object and a beautiful present from my mum and a magazine review so I'll start off with the with the finished object I made Zine and Rogers um, chevron cow the granny cow oh, cow wool not cow cow wool bear with me I'll put it on I'll just take this off because I'm feeling a wee bit warm here Unfortunately, it's that time of life where, you know, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Well, that's me. But anyway, so the this is the cowl. Um, so. Even making the small, which was 45 stitches. You know, it ends up that big. So. Anyway, that'll keep me nice and warm, nice and toasty when I'm out walking the puppy dog. Um, I used the, um, I used, speaking of puppy dog, he decided that he had to be a part of my video. Oh, and now we've got the cat coming to visit us as well. But anyway, I used the Pantone X. Bear with me, I'll go and get the colours. I'm back. Um, so I have a bag where I put all of my um, ball bands. And so the colours that I used were the... Oh, hang on a minute. Um, it's here somewhere. Oh, there we are. Peacock blue and the tree rings. So I used... All of the peacock blue bar the yellow and I used in the tree rings all of the colors bar the black so I just thought that the or the mustardy color and the black would have just been a bit jarring so that's why and I actually quite like it sitting like that I must say um, I don't know why but I like that join um, so that's that um, are you right? Yes, no, no, yes. You're going to sit on my lap? Right, okay, goodo. Um, so that was my finished object. Oh, and now we've got the pussycat has come to visit us. So my, so that was the Zines and Rogers uh, granny cowl. I'll leave a link for it in the description box below, um, along with, the colors that I used um, my work in progress is this it's the um, breaking waves blanket by crochet crowd um, I'm on the second ball and macaroon is the name of the colorway that I'm using I think um, somewhere here there we go. Oops. Dumping everything. Um. Ah, here we go. Uh, macaroon. So that's the colour that I'm using for that. Um, I'm on my second ball. Um, this is the colourway. So that's that. I've probably got another eight balls to go. Joy, joy, joy. Um, but I must say it's a pattern that I really love using so I'm quite looking forward to um, making that up and having it grow as as I continue my special gift from my mother my mother made me a jumper and this is um, the Annette Erickson jeans yarn and this is the jumper that she made me it's got beautiful bell sleeves 
Um, my mother is a ferocious knitter, just loves knitting. So this was her gift to me. And I can tell you that it will come in handy over the coming weeks here as it gets colder in the flat. Um, I said I had a magazine review. I also am lucky enough, the lady that I buy my magazines through um, often puts aside little extras. And so she put aside two patterns for me. And, oops, that was close. Um, a pretty set of needle, uh, four millimetre needles. So they're pretty, very pretty. And my magazine this month, or this week, is the Crochet Now magazine. And on the front cover is Bella Coco. Uh, with this magazine comes a little pack. So it has a little pencil case or a storage case, some uh, wool needles, some stitch markers, a little container to keep the wool needles safe, and a measuring tape, which I thought was pretty cute. And it's all got the Shaun the Sheep on it. Hello, my friend. Here, come and introduce yourself to YouTube. So we've had the dog and now we've got the cat. So they like to come and visit me whenever I'm doing things. Um, so this magazine, I haven't had a look at it yet. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Um, on the back is a pattern for the sugar and spice throw, which is pretty, very pretty. And you get the pattern on the back. Um, so apparently in this magazine there are four blankets. Oh wow. So to start off with, I've got to take this off, I'm getting quite hot. I did say that I'm hot and cold and hot and cold. I've actually gone through the change of life nice and early. I'm only 47. But oh golly do I feel hot some days and it just never seems to end. Um... As usual, they have their news section with all the different bits and bobs that you can get. I'm um, talking about the Knit Pro Zing. I actually saw a um, a review on different needles. I can't think who did the review, and they had oh, I know who it was. Um, uh, Jada in Stitches, and she has some of these knit pro zings and she was raving about them so they look quite interesting they're a bit too narrow for my hand I need the ergonomic hooks um, I'm lost without the ergonomic hooks um, so there's a little add on telling you that you can get your patterns on the crochet now www.crochetnow.co.uk um, there's a bit where they encourage people to write in and show photos of their work. So, and that's patterns from uh, projects that you've done using the um, the patterns in the book. This is a shawl. That absolutely looks ab gorgeous. It's called Candy Bars Shawl. Have a look at that. I love that. Now the yarn that it's calling for is the West Yorkshire Spinners Signature 4 Ply. Two balls in Rum Paradise and one ball each in Butterscotch, Bubblegum and Sarsaparilla. Aren't they gorgeous? I love that. I'd have to find a coloured, bright coloured yarn and do it in that, I think. Actually, I think I've got just the yarn for that. I have just the yarn for that, I think. I have to keep that one up my sleeve. Um... Amigurumi Mini Pals. How cute are these? So there's a bunny, a puppy dog, a mouse and a cat. Aren't they cute? Um, 
sweet pastel sweater so the the designer is Blazenka Zimic Borrow and there's that really pretty pastel sweater that is really really sweet I quite like that that's using Peyton's balls but I'm sure that you could change it and use your own and Because Peyton's balls do run a bit expensive. They do tend to, to be a bit pricey. So it also shows you how to to make do the pattern together. So to do the bodice and then do the sleeves. I love it when you get pictures like that. Um, now the good thing is that Bella Coco throughout this book is giving top tips. So... In this one, she's giving tips about how to best make the garment. Um, so she's giving tips on check your tension, make sure you leave a tail, block, 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 and don't rush the end. I think we're all a bit guilty of that. We get to the end and we really want to see what it looks like, and so we rush the end. Um, they've got their different different things that you can win and buy and all the different yarn oh look at this this is two little amigurumi mother and daughter matching kittens aren't they cute speaking of kitten where have you gone oh there you are and that's the back of the kittens Um, then there's a an ad for their exclusive crochet along starts in issue 40 subscribe and you don't miss out so it's an ad for their for their magazine um, oh now I knew there had to be a reason that they had the Shaun the sheep things showing before I get to that there's a licorice all sorts hat that's a cute little beanie. Ah, that's for ah, that's from Zines and Roger. So it's from Rosina. Um, so the the reason they had Shaun the Sheep is there are Shaun the Sheep mittens. And there are style ads for style craft yarns uh, for the Pantone X, the X Pantones. Uh, there's a beautiful sweater that is really pretty. That's cashmere. How pretty is that? That is gorgeous. I love that. I think I'd don't know that I'd make it in cashmere but I'd use the jeans cotton by um, the Lion brand jeans and use a different cotton for the top that would be lovely a candy popcorn blanket oh two minutes no no definitely not definitely not too many Popcorn stitches that would drive me stark raving round the twist. Um, they've got a cowl that's been going on a crochet along, and it's more more blanket boxes. So this one is for uh, those those squares there. I'm not big into cows, I'll be honest. I, I tend to lose interest in them. I, I would rather start a cow or what's been a cow and work at it at my own pace than go at the pace of, you know, one week we do this and one week we do that. And 
I'd rather do it all sort of in one go, I'll be honest. Um, they talk about how to make a, um, a wool cushion like this. Just quietly between you and me. Too much hard work. I'm I'm not into the felting. It's uh, not my not my thing. I'll be honest. Um, oh, this is really pretty. A cardinal pattern for an amigurumi cardinal. That is beautiful. That is really pretty. Substitute the red for golden hues to create the less common yellow cardinal. Oh, isn't this adorable? Boho baby breeze set. Look at that. If you had a baby in your world, that'd be something to look at making. A little cardigan and a booty set. But I'm past that stage. I'm sure that down the track I'll have that stage again when I have grandchildren. But that's not any time soon. I hope. Um, there's hand crocheting. So there's a master class in how to make a great big hand, hand crocheted blanket. Again, not one of my things. Um, macrame cushions. So macaroon cushions. I said macrame, not macrame, macaroon. Cushions. Um, this is called the Sweet On You Shawl. It's a bit too fussy for me. I'm I'm a bit of a plain I'm a bit of a plain Jane, and that's just a wee bit too fussy for me. Pretty, and I'm sure that there are pr plenty out there who would love to make it, but that's just way too fussy for my liking. A folk bag. This is quite nice. Shows you how to sew it all together and then there's the colour chart. I love it when they put those things together. More ads and notice boards, the locals notice boards, the how to section, and standard abbreviations UK to US and US to UK. Um, and that is it. Oh, and an ad for the next episode, the next. Um, edition and when that will be out that says issue 39 on sale February 28th that tells you how far behind we are that we've got issue number 38 and it's the beginning middle of May so that gives you an idea of how back behind the times we are and the last magazine that I picked up is the one that I get every month and it's the Let's Get Crafting, Crochet and Knitting magazine. And, excuse me while I rip it open. So I was a bit slack and I didn't. This month's edition is Super Craft Toys to Crochet. And so it's got all the different toys and amigurumi that you can make. So there's a sloth. Let's see what we've got. We've got apples. Oh, Mariska dolls. Aren't they beautiful? I'll just do a quick flick. We've got some dinosaurs. Some baby rattles. Quite cute to put together for a family member coming. Um... Some butterfly buddies, some more baby toys, um, some narwhals. A 
baby bear. It's a sun and a moon. So some of these are toys that have been in. Oh, look at this, Larry the Llama. So these are all patterns that are that you can get in the um, in the magazine. There's a party dog. There's a princess. Um, there's the otters. Penny piglet. Oh, look at this naughty little mice. Moira and Milo. Um, Henry the Hippo, which is quite funny because my children's surname is Henry. There's all sorts of little magazines. A lot of these are pictures that have been in their previous magazines where they, I mean, we've got little mix and match dolls. And you've got the doll clothes to go with them. There's guinea pigs, which we shall be making because we love guinea pigs in this house. But the best part about these guinea pigs is that I don't have to feed them. So there's all sorts of different little things. Oh, I might have to make these too. My son absolutely loves dash hounds. So I might have to make a pair of dash hounds. A girl dash hound and a boy dash hound. And I will definitely have to make... Because he loves his slots. But it's all a part of learning. And with this magazine came a party pack. So eight balls of wool and a couple of a hook and a, and a set of needles and um, predominantly this book is all crocheting it's not knitted but there is a way that you can there are patterns it does tell you how you can get the pattern for the knitting so that was pretty good actually can't argue that 50 patterns so can't argue. So I've done pretty well. Um, the blanket's going to take me a little while to, to finish. Hopefully I'll get that finished this side of <laughs> the never never. Um, I have a young lady that, that's waiting on that. So I shall get uh, cracking on that. And she'll uh, have that hopefully before too soon. But um, that's about it from this end. So um, until next time, keep crocheting, keep crafting. Have fun and God bless.